Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Dropbox on your Mesa 2 Windows 10 tablet. Uh, so with Dropbox, you get the advantage of being able to sync your files automatically. So when you walk in the office, your job files automatically sync to your um, office computer. So there's no need to use um, your email or a USB drive, something like that. All the files are synced automatically. So what I'm going to need to do to begin here is make sure that I have a, a Dropbox account. Um, so if you don't already have one of those, I'll just include a link um, to the Dropbox signup page below, um, and you can choose an appropriate plan for yourself. And I need to make sure I have an internet connection. If I have those two things, I can set this up. So what I've done to begin here is I've just Googled download Dropbox. In this case, I've used Bing, so I, I guess I haven't technically Googled it. Um, but I'm just going to open up this link here for the go to download in Dropbox here. And it's going to give me this window here, and I'm going to want to hit Download Dropbox. And then I'm going to want to save this, uh, not run. I want to save this to my Downloads folder. So then I'm just going to hit Open in Folder. And you can see I now have my installer along with, you can see that I got uh, my previous Field Genius and Serve PC installers here. And I'm just going to double-click this Download installer here, and I'm going to let that uh, run through its process. So it, it will take a minute. Uh, don't worry. That's That's completely normal. So I'll just mention while well, we got a second while well, this is installing here, um, is that you're going to want to do this process on your desktop computer as well. So you have a Dropbox folder on both your desktop computer and the Mesa. Um, that's the easiest way to do this. And then when you walk in the office, your files are automatically synced to your computer and vice versa. There's no need to wait around and um, grab a USB drive or, or your email like I previously mentioned. So I've skipped ahead. Dropbox is now fully installed. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up my like Windows 10 home button here, the bottom left button. And if I click that, you can see in the top left, I have a Dropbox application. There's also a link to it on your desktop now as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that and launch it. And this will just take a second to load in here. Okay, so this is going to bring up the setup Dropbox menu. Um, and this is where it's important to make sure you have a Dropbox account already set up. So in this case, I'll just be using our Office Dropbox account here uh, and signing into that. Um, and since I did that through Google, I'm just going to sign in through Google here. Okay, so once I sign in, it's going to bring me back to the app here, and then it's going to ask me how I want to store my files. So I have the option to do it online only. Um, or local. So in, in this case, I'm going to leave this as online only as our Dropbox um, account is, is quite large. There's a lot of files in there, not just including um, uh, Serve CE or Field Genius files, but a, a whole plethora of other things. So it's actually too much data for the Mesa 2. So if you already have a Dropbox account, um, it's important to check how much space uh, your Dropbox account will actually take up. Um, and if it's, if it's anything larger than, I'd say, um, 20 gigabytes, I'd, I'd recommend leaving it as online only and leaving it off the local one. However, if you're going to be using the online only option, um, I would highly recommend going into your Dropbox settings and make sure you choose the proper sync options for the folders you want. Um, because it is useful to have folders that are always being updated and are local and you don't have to worry about having a um, internet connection to be able to access the files. Because if you leave this as online only um, and you have files in your Dropbox folder that aren't downloaded onto the tablet before you leave the office, you'll have to hotspot in the field um, and make sure that you can get an internet connection to the tablet in order to download the files you need. So just make sure that you check all your settings before you go in the field. Don't just set up Dropbox and assume all your files will be there. The first couple times, you need to make sure that you've properly set it up so your files are actually going to be there when you get out in the field. So again, I'm just going to leave it online only here and then hit Next. So after the setup's complete, uh, and I just let this menu play out here, it's going to ask you, do I want to keep my PC backed up? So I would, if you have the space available on Dropbox, it's a, it's a very good idea to do this. This is, works the exact same as backing it up to an external hard drive, except it's just backed up to the internet. Um, however, if you're using, you know, a basic Dropbox plan and you don't have the space, uh, you can just hit not now, which is what I'm going to do right now, because uh, this is actually a mess that we're going to end up selling. So I, I don't want to uh, back up the data that's on here. So I'm just going to hit, um, I'm just going to unselect these things that I don't want backed up um, and hit not now. And then I'm just going to continue to Dropbox without backing my PC up. 
So once I've done that and I've set that all up correctly in Dropbox's end, I can now see that in my file explorer here, I have a Dropbox folder. Um, so it's right now it's just empty. It's going to take a second. Uh, and if I leave it here for two, uh, two, three minutes, it's going to sync all my files over. So I've let it sync for a second here and you can see I've got all my major files uh, that we use around the office here. Um, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to open up Field Genius and show you how to navigate to this Dropbox folder because it's not super apparent uh, where this folder is inside Field Genius. So if I just open up Field Genius here, um, I'm just going to go through my menus here and just, uh, I'm running a demo version, so I'm just going to hit run demo, okay, and then I'm just going to uh, go to my main screen here so you can see that I got uh, just regular old field genius running here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plumb bob in the bottom left corner and then I'm going to open up my project manager here. And you can see there at the top it's uh, it's got my file pathway to where I would normally save my field genius projects uh, by default. And what I'm actually going to do is if I click this folder um, this is going to bring up my file path options here. And now I can browse for a folder. And if I, I scroll up here, um, you can see there is my Dropbox folder. So any files that I save into my Dropbox um, that are new projects or I want to open up inside Field Genius. Uh, if you, if you want to know how to do that, I got a video on how to import different files into Field Genius that I'll just link to in the top right corner here. But for this video, uh, you can see now I have a Dropbox folder that I can choose files from if I just click that and open it. In this case, I, I don't want you guys seeing all our internal files, so I'm obviously not going to be doing that. Um, but I would just click it and navigate to my appropriate folder. So that's all. That's how you get from installing Dropbox to opening it up in Field Genius. Um, but please keep in mind, to get the most out of Dropbox, you're going to want it installed on both your Office computer and your Mesa. So it's the exact same process to get it installed on your desktop computer. Uh, just follow the same steps as this and you'll be uh, ready to rock. And that's everything for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video, including the Mesa 2, or maybe you're interested in the Hemisphere S631, please give us a call at 403-286-0333 or visit our website at bench-mark.ca and we'd be more than happy to answer any of the questions you might have.